study the uh, uh, properties of uh, wavelength operators on the first on the space L2 of R, and then on the space of uh, temper distributions. Um, then we show that all accessible uh, wavelets in a omentic set still form a collection of irreducible unitary uh, representations uh, of locally compact groups in L2, and then in the space of temper distributions. The, we use um, the Galafon uh, triple to, uh, to do it. And uh, thus, we extend the theory of the square integrable uh, random process to the uh, Square integrable random fields, and uh, we accept the uh, uh, asymmetry and emission associated with these uh, accessible wavelets. Then we found the continued extension of uh, wavelet reproducing operation. Not that. <laughs> Maybe it's better because it's, it's so slow. I don't think you can you can try to hold it down. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't work. But maybe it's better. Well, here. I can speak right here. Oh, okay. You can just okay. Hold this. It goes faster. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I tried to do uh, the uh, Bimmer representation, uh, uh, Bimmer presentation, but the uh, my computer has some problem. So, uh, so. First, we uh, consider the uh, omentic set of uh, operators on R2 and on the uh, temper distributions. Um, we found that the uh, hmm? Okay. Uh, this is the uh, definition from um, Grossman and those uh, who, at the beginning, uh, discover the properties of wavelets, and then uh, we use the, uh, this definition as the, um, uh, we found out that because they are, we only need uh, the accessible wavelets, uh, not necessary wavelets, uh, uh, model uh, wavelets. Because, well, we need only the uh, equal to zero, right? And uh, and then uh, because we have this, it's di divided by by the uh, by by norm, the reciprocal of uh, square root of norm. Then it still works, at, uh, but if h is zero, we, we just uh, define as zero. Okay, so in that way, so the uh, 
those are you know well known uh, because we have uh, inversible uh, kernel and uh, reducing kernels are not unique, but uh, we later discussion we may select a particular one. Okay, so in that case, uh, it works out for our purpose. This right, look. Okay, uh, admissible, we call admissible wavelength is just uh, in L1 and L2, uh, as long as it satisfies this, equal to zero, and then if this equals one, this is uh, a typical uh, wavelength um, analyzing, analyzing wavelength, okay? But we, this is the number two. We omit the number two, then uh, we define this as a zero if it is zero. If it is uh, it's phi, so then this is still it because it's divided by square root of the norm. So it still uh, uh, keep the uh, the one the the product, okay, uh, like that. So. It won't change anything because it divided by by its uh, square of norm. So, so in that case, later we found out that this a sub zero has uh, can form a Banach space. Okay. So now so we define the uh, select uh, phi. And then VST as uh, defined uh, before, then now uh, we uh, this define this as uh, wavelength transform, and this is uh, wavelength. Uh, of repro reproducing uh, for uh, wavelength. Okay, so in that case, it still works. Uh, it still maps this R2 to R2 of H. R, H is defined as R plus cross R. Okay, and then uh, we talk about wavelet operators on uh, temper distributions. Okay, so we define that as uh, Okay. So this is the stuff. Uh, Rn, S of Rn is the uh, C infinity of Rn with uh, zero, uh, with compact support, then uh, we, because uh, S, S of Rn, the Swatch uh, space is, uh, of course, is this, is uh, dense in this <laughs> S prime, okay? So S prime is defined as the dual space of the uh, of the uh, actually the temper distribution. Okay. So then, because uh, we should, we always have these uh, sequences U n and U uh, V n that in the Schwarz space. And then the uh, UN approaches U, uh, VN approaches V. U and V are uh, temper distributions. So in that case, uh, 
by Swart, uh, Lawrence Swartz, then this is true, okay? Uh, we can define this as the, this is um, the inner product. So it's equal to the limit of this, okay? So therefore, the inner product is still, is still uh, preserved. So because there are un and u sub n and v sub n are the Gauss sequence, so it doesn't depend on the what kind of uh, selection we select the v sub n and u sub n, and always uh, the have the same limit. Okay, always have the same. Uh, no matter how you select this. You always end up with this, okay? It won't change the uh, se the selection will not matter, okay? So therefore, so the, uh, we define this uh, a sub c. If a sub a sub c all the uh, acceptable uh, matrix, we call a sub c. So a sub zero is including the zero itself, uh, okay? So therefore, we uh, any a sub c uh, we take uh, phi. So so there we have that. We this is the first theorem, and the inner product is uh, going to be a joint. Okay, this v sub phi and uh, v sub phi star is the re reproducing um, operator. So. They are a joy and keep the and keep the inner part. Why? Because the, it uh, this equal to this. Then uh, they are they are joy. So then guarantee that this will be true. Okay. Right. Uh, keep the. Uh, Okay, now, these are the, uh, from uh, get form, so it uh, has this, uh, it, the, it, uh, you, uh, square integral, uh, Space of uh, the R the uh, okay. We prove that. And, uh, oh, I think <laughs> so. Is that all right? So. Yeah. So these are the uh, well-known stuff, uh, actually. Okay, all these, all these. All right. Now, definition. Okay. Uh, Let M be a measurable function, eta, and uh, in the omega cross R plus to R. Okay, so this uh, value, ran random process, is going to be um, a function of U. If uh, U is the uh, R, R plus, that the process is uh, index. Okay, so then you, if you take the expectation of this, of the uh, random variable x, so then it's going to be the, this, right? This is the definition, so it's, uh, it's uh, finite. And then uh, this is uh, taking the second deal, uh, Taking the square is still 
integrable, then this is called the uh, L2, uh, omega cross D, okay? So by this, um, we Okay, this is the well-known Galafon triple. This and this R. And this another. Okay, <laughs> okay. This is uh, identified as is dual space by the uh, Briggs representation theorem, and then we have this uh, still uh, new nuclear. Space, okay, this you know now. The Bogner Mindos uh, theorem says that if uh, three, if phi, if phi of zero equals one, phi is continuous and phi is positive, definitely. So, therefore, then this is uh, characteristic function, okay? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, define a random functional on S of R. Uh, this is a kind of generalized uh, random processing because corresponding to each eight uh, C in S, then they're corresponding to a uh, random variable. Okay, this by Garofan. So then uh, if you have this characteristic function, this is definitely this is a positive definite function, okay? So therefore, the, as long as these three conditions are, are satisfied, one, two, three, so it will be okay. So then the function, um, The above defined characteristic function is random functional that maps each seed into a, a Gauss, Gaussian uh, random variable like that. This normal distribution with uh, zero expectation and C square, the norm of C square at the uh, variance. Okay, so then we define this. Uh, this norm is uh, in this uh, product space. Uh, we define the inner product. So this is uh, certified all the inner product uh, axioms. And then in the, the corresponding Hilbert space is consists of dv and d mu. D mu is the a probability measure, and uh, dv is the uh, the index of the um, random passage. Okay, so then we have, we define that. Similarly, we can define uh, in the a, uh, R two of h cross omega. Just. Uh, two variables, S and T. S is uh, positive, and T is, uh, T can run through the, the whole uh, R. Okay, so then this is uh, only in the space H cross omega, just extending to, okay. Um, it still keep the same. Um, it still keep the same uh, product uh, preserving and 
from a Hilbert space. Okay. <coughs> All right. So then this is a uh, well-known uh, proposition 4.7 is well-known. Uh, it's the, uh, the impacts uh, impacting of uh, from P to PQ, P, uh, LP to LQ, uh, all these belong to the temper distribution is continuous, okay? Um, so, in that case, we, uh, we can define a B of uh, UH, and U is the, uh, in R, and H is in uh, S, okay? So, therefore, H is in S prime. Okay, the uh, generalized derivative with respect to the uh, parameter, time parameter u. Okay, so then b of u is a uh, uh, Brownian motion, and such that the, for all u positive is a Gaussian random variable. Okay. This, right. and then we uh, use <coughs> apply this to uh, our any take any uh, function of our current uh, accessible any accessible function g. So. G satisfied that uh, is in the uh, S of R, so that satisfied this same thing. Uh, okay. So So therefore, we have the, uh, this all the lambas, okay. <laughs> okay, then this uh, expectation of uh, WG of X of ST square, so the, uh, <coughs> it's equal to this. It's equal to the, uh, it's uh, applying the um, ether uh, integral. Okay, so it's uh, doing that. See, finally, it's equal to that. Uh, so any fixed ST, okay? And then, uh, the expectation come up to be the wave uh Operation on the on the uh, m function. M is the uh, um, expectation of st uh, of x xt. Okay, so it turned up to be a two, and then now seems uh, in the real world. Uh, we observe a signal, random processing. We always have a uh, true signal and a uh, random variable. It's a uh, noise, okay? The noise, uh, we can, well, we can estimate the noise. Uh, so we have these two uh, theorems, okay? Uh, the expectation you subtract yeah 
this is the true signal. You subtract the true, true signal from the, this uh, observed signal. Then it's equal to the uh, wave operation on, the, uh, on this uh, two, the, what we call that? Expectation of that random variable uh, of, uh, with the same as ST, okay? And we also can prove that uh, the true signal subtract from uh, subtract true signal from the uh, observed signal is equal to this. Okay, these two we are uh, now. Now, furthermore, we can prove that actually this expectation. Uh, the wave uh, operation on this is equal to the x itself, okay? So, so th these two are the same because uh, uh, first we prove the square, so use the square, so to prove that it's equal to the uh, inner product, okay? And by our previous theorem, it's equal to that, but. Uh, okay, then this is uh, by the definition. This is, uh, I mean, by the uh, previous lemma, is equal to there exists such a GST satisfied as the derivative of uh, the uh, generalized derivative of um, the, the Browning motion, okay? So that, that's why it's equal to that. Uh, uh, we prove that is uh, two. And then furthermore, we are also uh, OK. But we assume, first we assume that uh, the, the noise is um, Browning motion. Now, if it is combined with uh, another arbitrary uh, positive definite motion uh, uh, noise, then this is what it happened in the real world. Okay, so then uh, we furthermore prove that this added uh, noise, the expectation of x actually is equal to that, okay? Because, the, why? Because we assume that this is a uh, uh, winner process. So winner process, winner process has uh, zero expectation. That's why it uh, is still equal to that. It equal to uh, that uh, arbitrary noise, okay? So therefore, and this uh, expectation of uh, BA actually is uh, less than equal to eta and, and this. And the uh, uh, second moment of A sub U, okay? And the covariance also has this bound. All right. So this we can, we can uh, estimate. And this is uh, less than equal to the arbitrary uh, noise. Okay, so then uh, we. Uh, this is the proof. Uh, I have more to say, but then, the, yeah, then the. The, part, the rest part of this is the uh, full continuous uh, extension to a bigger space. Okay, so then uh, time's up. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs>